Are you surprised that Onana has had big problems at Manchester United? Yeah, I do because he, he performed well in the Champions League. and uh, But, uh, Jim, to be honest, I'm surprised because of his quality. Uh, but to come to England as a goalkeeper is not easy. It's a different thing. Can I, can I ask you on, on Onana? It's really interesting from a goalkeeper's perspective. Some of his saves, the way he tries to save the ball, is quite unusual. Yeah. He's... he's Goalkeepers make mistakes. All the best. Everybody makes mistakes. No problem. Mm -hmm. But some of the talk has been about the way he's made the mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, some of his techniques in the way he makes the saves has been something we haven't seen before. It's probably done because uh, uh, the base, of course, he he didn't uh, do the base well. You know, like the basic the when he start when he started to, to playing goal. You know, uh, his style as well is different. Uh, but uh, the basic, when you make a save, normally is the same thing for everybody. But if you don't uh, like adjust that in the right time, when he came, he became older, it's going to be very difficult to change that. For a goalkeeper, it's very difficult to change this style, you know, the way he dives, the way he makes a save, you know. Uh, but uh, I don't know specifically what you're talking about, but uh, uh, this is, is something that can, can reflect... In, in his past, yes, you know, right, on the, his can, formation, we, well, on his formation. For example, formation. there's been a couple where he's tried to, you know, use his forearm rather yeah. than his hand, and it's gone. You know, it, it's it's sometimes it's we we know that keepers make mistakes, but it, it's, that I've heard other goalkeepers talking yeah. about it on the television, like the technical. Some of them are, yeah. they seem unusual, the but basics. if you say he's done yeah, it, I don't know, I don't know from which school he came from. Yeah. But uh, it can be some uh, the goalkeeper coach just told him to do that. You know, yeah, when he's younger. Yeah. When he's, uh, Aurelio, he I know, younger. I know yeah. you watch Premier League football all the time. Is Onana good enough for Manchester United? Yeah, he's he's a good he's good enough, but he needs to perform the way that he was he 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 was performing at Inter Milan, for example. Yeah, I mean, you say it wasn't easy for any goalkeeper coming to English football. Did you find it hard to deal with the pressure? Yeah, I did find that hard. Julius says one of the best goalkeepers in the world when he came for QPR. He find that very hard as well, because you know it, uh, when you come to England, you think that you're going to play in the same way that you yeah. you used to play. Like when I was playing at PSV, I used to come for crosses, you know, mm. uh, because uh, the, the defenders, oh come on, this is very good for defenders, but you can't do this in uh, in England. You cannot do this in England because it's different pace of the ball. You know, the players they come against you. Uh, you know, I remember. <laughs> One game I was playing against Aston Villa, uh, and uh, uh, I just come for cross, and uh, I striker he came against me, you know I I collect the ball, and the striker come against me. I went I went out <laughs> of the pitch. The referee <laughs> Who was gave, it? A Do you gave, gave, gave a corner. Uh, <laughs> Dion Dublin is one now. My strong, strong. He was a strong guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who, uh, can I just ask him, Jim, on it? Because there's obviously Allison at Liverpool, amazing goalkeeper. There's Edison, yeah. hmm. probably the best goalkeeper I've ever seen with his feet. Yeah. And they're both obviously Brazilian. Which one would you choose for the national team? Oh, it's a, it's a difficult question, but uh, uh, I would go for, Ed for Edison. Yeah? Yeah, Edison. He's, he's more complete, I believe. Is Emi Martinez better than both of them? No. Is Come that because on, he's yeah. Argentinian? <laughs> no, it's not because of that. And I like uh, I like him as well. Yeah, they're all... You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you, the both of them, uh, Edison and Alisson, they... They are top top goal uh, goalkeeper and uh, Edison is is more complete. Uh, his passes from the back, you know the way Man City play, use him very well. You know, uh, mm -hmm. Alisson is is a bit more. You know, uh, uh, I I don't know the word to to put in it, but uh, sure uh, to to compare. But uh, I think I think uh, uh, Edison is a is a better better goalkeeper than is more complete goalkeeper. It's not better I goalkeeper, yeah. more complete goalkeeper. Aurelio, to finish off with, the, you've spoken about helping Rich Allison in, in his time at Watford when he came here. Joe Pedro, the same, doing well now at Brighton. Yeah. Because of this, is this why you've gone into the world of football agency? You're going to work with a small number of players. Yeah. And you're going to represent them 
Yeah, I because you have to live their life as well because sometimes the players suffer alone, and the people just don't know what what is in this market today. Is so many good people. I I I met so many good people when I started three years ago. Three years ago, but uh, I I met a people that don't care about the players. They just want to put the, throw the the players in there. You know, sell to a big club and get a big commission, and, forget and they for, forget them, and they don't don't care uh, about the next step. Where are he gonna play? If a young player sign for 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 City or United, he's not he's not going to play there. Where he is going to play next? Right. You know What's best how for him? how is the next step? Yes. How yeah. the club can help them in this in this way? So, uh, you know, I want to do with uh, my players the same thing that I did with uh, the players, not just uh, Richarlison and and uh, John Pedro, for example, but the young players that they used to arrive at Watford. You know, at Tottenham as well. Sandro, when he came to 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 Tottenham as well, sure. I embraced him as yeah. well. The same thing. Yes. So because I, I know that uh, they need help, and uh, I want to do that. We had Sandro in the studio. Do you remember Sandro? Mm -hmm. He yeah. was uh, he nice was fan. entertaining. Put yeah, he's way. a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.